बिसमीम डी स्टूडेंट्स अस्सलाम वालेकुम एंड वेलकम टू ऑफिस डॉट कॉम डॉट पी के डी स्टूडेंट्स प्रीवियसली वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द डी एन ए एंड क्रोमोजोम्स इन डिटेल नाउ दिस इज चैप्टर नंबर ट्वेंटी वन डेट वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट टूडे एंड इट इज़ अबाउट सेल साइकिल इन विच वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द लाइफ साइकिल ऑफ अ सेल एंड द ब्रांच ऑफ बायोलॉजी और साइंस that studies this life cycle of a cell is known as ontogeny how cells divide how they are transferred from one offspring to other how they replicate all this is studied in ontogeny and basically this cell cycle is a sequence of changes it is a sequence of changes which involve growth dna replication and cell division means this this is a sequence which is undergone by a cell first of all it grows and then it replicates its dna now this is basically the preparation for the cell division so this whole sequence of changes from growth to replication and finally cell division is known as cell cycle now this remember this is the sequence of changes now if we talk about the phases of cell cycle then it is divided into two phases one is the interphase and the other one is the mitotic phase now interphase is a period or time when there is no apparent cell division means the cell division is not visible we will discuss it in detail later just for an idea that cell is not in the dividing state it is preparing itself for further growth for uh, resting phase or for cell division and then we have the mitotic phase which is actually the cell division phase it is actually the phase where there is apparent cell division now both these phases they are further subdivided into more phases the sub phases okay so we will discuss all of them one by one first of all the interphase now interphase is the period of life cycle of the cell between two consecutive cell divisions this is basically the period between two consecutive cell divisions now let's see that for example one cell division is completed and the cell has to go to the second stage then this phase will be interphase sometimes after first cell division the cell will go to the resting phase then this is also known as the interphase interphase is not the resting phase interphase and resting phase are not the same thing the process through which a cell enters the resting phase is the interphase okay or the process through which a cell enters after exiting the first cell division into the second cell division is known as the interphase okay now uh, this is basically a period where there is high biochemical activity or you can say that the cell is metabolically active the cell will be metabolically active during the interphase now interphase is further subdivided into three phases the first one is now the first one is g1 the second one is the s phase 
and the third one is G2 phase. These are the th three phases of interphase. Now we will discuss all of them one by one. First of all, the G1 phase. Now what happens in the G1 phase? The G1 phase, this G stands for the gap because interphase is actually a gap between two consecutive cell divisions. So G1 is the gap 1 phase. It is a period of extensive metabolic activity. The first point is that the metabolic activity is extensive. High metabolic activity. The second point is that cell normally grows in the size. After that, the specific enzymes are synthesized. Specific enzymes are synthesized and the DNA base units they are accumulated for the DNA synthesis the DNA is not synthesized keep in mind only the DNA subunits are gathered or you can say they are collected at one place so that when they are needed for the DNA synthesis they are present DNA subunits or base units they are gathered or accumulated now after this phase sometimes what happens that as this is occurring after first cell division so when the cell enters from cell division into the G1 phase sometimes the cell exits the cell cycle completely the cell no longer wants to divide anymore so it will enter the G0 phase another phase the G0 phase the G0 phase or the G0 phase and it remains there for days weeks or even for the whole life for example when it will go to the resting phase for some days the example is the eggs the female gametes for weeks it can be zygote and for the whole life the neurons or the nerve cells the nerve cells they they are actually uh, the cells of the nervous system the basic unit of the nervous system and also the cells of the eye lens once their division is completed they have reached their specific particular number they do not grow any further okay their number is fixed for the whole life of an organism they do not proliferate they do not grow further after that G1 phase The next phase we have is the S phase. 